You know that feeling when you're home alone and you suspect the house is somewhat haunted? It could be a burglar or a ghost under your bed, or it could just be the house making weird creaky noises. In some cases, the house that's supposed to protect you from the inside becomes more dangerous. Here are 12 of the riskiest houses in the world. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Let's begin. Number 12. Study Agent House Something for sure doesn't look quite right here. Let's add a little more here, a little more there. That was what wealthy businessman Nikolai Sarajin did when he began building his perfect two-story wooden house. He added three more stories and decided that that made the house look like a mushroom. So, to solve the problem, he created another problem by adding more and more stories. He was adding these stories on a whim without any permit or any plans. By 2007, he had added a total of 13 stories and the house stood at 140 feet. The law then caught up with him and he was jailed for racketeering and the house fell into disrepair and disarray. The authorities were not happy with Nikolai and decided to bring the house down, insisting that it was a fire hazard. They only left the original two-story building that was set up in 1992. That too burned to the ground. Number 11. Wazoko Apartment the Dutch are known to be able to make the best use of space, especially if the space is small. More so, they know how to expand that space. A good amount of the Netherlands area has been reclaimed from the sea over the years. These apartments were built by the architectural firm MVRDV. They were given a very specific permit to build an apartment block that would be the home for more elderly citizens. They were supposed to consider good lighting as well as a green space that would be the perfect place to sunbathe, especially the warmer months of the year. Once the plans had been drawn up and approved, the client went ahead to change their mind and decided to add 13 more apartments, bringing the total to 100. This would normally require the architects to add another story to the building. Going this route would mean blocking sunshine entirely from the designated garden space. The architects decided to be a little innovative and added the extra apartments at the back of the building such that they were hanging. This increased the budget and the materials used for the extra 13 apartments and were not so top-notch. Number 10. Cliff Village, China This little ancient village laughs in the face of vertigo, approximately 2,600 feet or 800 meters up the side of a mountain in the province of Shizuan. This very isolated and very impoverished area lies at the bottom of 17 connected ladders leading down the mountainside. There are no safety handrails and the safety is wanting when navigating using the makeshift ladder. In wet and snowy weather, navigating about is risky. Children from six years of age make the journey once a week to attend a boarding school near the foot of the mountain. The journey down the mountain takes 90 minutes. Without a doubt, slipping and falling to one's death is inevitable. Photos of numerous casualties have made it to the mainstream news in China. A modern stair structure has since been built and it's no longer as dangerous to navigate up and down the mountain area. This site has over the years become a key tourist attraction. This is slowly pulling the village out of poverty. Even with the staircase, it's not a short walk. Don't get to the bottom of the mountain and remember you left some beans cooking in the oven. Number 9. Liechtenstein Castle Located in the southwestern state of Baden-Württemberg, this little castle is not the most famous one in Germany. It is, however, one the local people are quite proud of. It resembles a castle that's in a fairy tale, one where medieval knights might have lived. It was constructed in the mid-19th century, and although it looks cute and girly on the outside, inside there are prehistoric weapons in case things get heated with the neighbors. The castle was built by a wealthy German after reading a book with a castle that was called the Liechtenstein Castle. He chose to build up on top of the ruins of another castle, which was built for medieval knights way back in 1200. The original castle was a little riskier to be inhabited than the modern equivalent. It had to be rebuilt twice before since it fell to ruins. If you decide to visit, keep your fingers crossed that the invaders don't strike and destroy it the third time. Go check out where the armor is kept. Number 8. Korowai Treehouse This probably looks more intimidating than it should. The idea of living in a treehouse this high is a little scary, don't you think? This structure in a real sense is very robust and well-built and designed to keep its residents safe. The surrounding area is on the sparsely populated and mountainous island of southeast and west Papua Guinea. The Korowai people first made contact with the outside world in the 1970s. They discovered this amazing architectural wonder that was home to 20 tribes of people and their animals, from a forest infested by giant spiders, venomous snakes, and lethal insects. The tree system is rigged to let the residents know if there are any rival tribes climbing up to attack. 
Since the exploration of this area, the forest has been declining and the people have relocated to modern cities. Number 7. Puna, Hawaii This is home to Kilauea, one of the world's most active volcanoes, and volcanoes have been active from 1983 to 2018. People living in the vicinity have been in constant risk of lava flows. In that time, lava flowed into 10% of the district's surface land and left destruction in its wake of up to 190 buildings and homes. You'd think this would make people leave the area. Think again. On the contrary, there have been a population explosion in the areas, mostly because of the low prices. The new residents have a lot to deal with. It's extremely hard to get home insurance. The geothermal power that powers the portion of the island had its wells plugged with mud and cold water in 2018, threatening a huge gas explosion as the emissions of sulfur dioxide hit 15,000 tons per day. Number 6. Elife, Iceland Iceland has one of the lowest populations in the world, coming up to 350,000 people, a city in between Pittsburgh and Cleveland, living on a volcanic island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. But from the 18th century, this was still not far enough for one family. So they decided to build a house on the otherwise deserted island known as Elife. There's something both mysterious and fascinating about this strange house sitting solo on a little island. Even the Icelanders know very little about the house and the occupants. Though it's been unoccupied since the 1930s, records show that over the years it's had different occupants. Many wonder if someone is living there in secret. Iceland's popular music star Björk is said to have taken possession of the house. It's said to have been built by a wealthy man who was maybe preparing for a zombie apocalypse. The thing is that this house is cut out from the world to be comfortable. No electricity, water, limited food supply, it's just a few of the disadvantages. Yet you will have the scenic views and nature at its best, but that's just not enough for sustenance. Number 5. Falling Waterhouse Built over a rural waterfall in rural Pennsylvania, this house is often seen as one of America's greatest architectural masterpieces. Built by America's famous architect Frank Lloyd Wright in 1935, it's considered his best work, especially because of its modernist beauty. With this much to boast about, what could be wrong? So the great architect forgot to pay attention to the falling water as he did with the aesthetic appearance. The masterpiece runs the risk of falling. Wright was at odds on how to support the house from falling. By the 1990s, the iconic house was beginning to sink and the beams were beginning to give way. It started to look like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. In the 2000s, $11 million needed to restore the house was raised, and after the renovation, it seemed to be back in shape and holding firmly together. There's still some overhanging flaws you need to step on with a bit more agility. Number 4. Meteora This is a rock formation in Greece. It means high up. There's a whole residential area on top of these Meteora peaks, which doesn't make sense since there's a lot of normal land lying around. The buildings on the top of the rocks are monasteries from the Eastern Orthodox Christian Church that are located in mainland Greece. They were designed to be extra challenging such that only the faithful with enough stamina could reach them. They were built in the 14th century as Greece was invaded by the Muslim Turks and the Greeks decided to protect their religious sites from invaders. In the 1920s, steps were carved into the rocks. Before then, the only way to access was via a rope ladder unfurled from the top. The ladders were only replaced when God chose to break them, meaning that when a monk was going up, they had to pray that they wouldn't plunge to their death. Number 3. Habitat 67 Israeli architect Moshafti's Habitat 67 is what we would call brutalist architecture, the opposite of the falling water house. These stacked cells in Montreal, Canada were unveiled in 1967 as a vision of a would-be utopian socialist future for the people of Quebec. The idea was affordable housing that offered space, light and high-density living for a growing city. 160 homes are situated in this location and attract wealthy Montreal residents looking for architectural authenticity. This is not exactly the affordable utopia with safety in mind. This is because structural issues had to be repaired at a great expense causing the apartments to become unsafe. The building concrete needed constant repair and one former resident moved out after developing a serious lung condition and seeing his cat drop dead. This was due to poor ventilation. Each house, however, enjoys a rooftop garden. These cubic homes still stand today and you can live in one if you have enough dollars. Number 2. Gate of Europe's Towers Another building that makes us think of a leaning tower of Pisa, this Gate of Europe's Tower is located in Spain. The two towers are 374 feet or 114 meters and were designed by yet another famous American architect, Philip Johnson. Construction finished in 1996, taking a look at the towers, you might think that something went wrong. 
These are, however, the first skyscrapers in the world with a built-in incline. This will for sure turn your stomach to lean at 15 degrees. Towers have inspired a new skyscraper design with more inclined skyscrapers being built. These are iconic towers in Madrid and have made their debut in a couple of films. Before unveiling our number one, here is an interesting image that seems wedged between a cliff and overlooking some very deep ocean. We bet the view is splendid. That said, you better not have sleepwalking tendencies. You wake up in the night and go for a surprise dive in the cold waters. Number 1. Takusugi, Japan You think you've seen the most dangerous treehouse? Think again. The Japanese will not allow their rivals, the Chinese, to take the crown. The Takasugi is a crazy little treehouse that can only hold four people. The name of this treehouse in Japanese means tea house too high. Perched on two chestnut trees, the little tea house is an exercise in Japanese simplicity and minimalism. Built from simple materials and sparse plaster walls, if there are more than four people, it could come crashing down, or if the four are sumo wrestlers, that would be a hazard in itself. The work of architect Teronobu Fujimori is meant to be a place to sip tea, contemplate and feel a meditative calm come over you. On a super windy day, we doubt you'd be relaxed at the prospect of falling from the trees. There you have it. Which of these houses do you think is the riskiest? Would you risk staying in any one of them? Let us know in the comments section. And while doing that, like, share and subscribe.